All right, welcome back everyone to another video. I know, I uploaded one yesterday. <laughs> that was from Waking Titan uh, and the stream that had happened. But, um, I have been planning on uh, getting on here to show you guys that I've had visitors. More than just Marek. And yeah, I made that for Marek. Huh. I served for Marek. One tea, one sugar. Because that's what he wrote in um, the comment section of one of my videos. Huh. To put the kettle on, tea, one sugar. So yeah. This is Marek's table, everyone. If you ever come visit. And last time I checked, I had, I think it was two up there, and then one... Uh, further away, yeah, over there. So, I got some new ones. Let's check this out. Hi, great work. Thank you very much, King Vyth first. Appreciate that. Greetings, huntsmen from all Spacing Guild. From Marek22. Thank you, Marek. The Spacing Guild welcomes you to the hub. Thank you, Imperial Forest 8. I've been at the hub for a very long time, but, you know, thank you anyway. And there's... I can carry a tree in my hand. <laughs> okay. Who's that from? Um, I'm having some trouble landing in this damn tree. <laughs> How did you put a beacon in there? No, not a beacon. A uh, communication box. I can't even stand in it. Uh, nope. Not happening. There we go. Oh, almost. Maybe if I try and stand on top of... Wait, there we go. Rabbit Gripper. Right. Well, uh, you know, good on you. You can hold a tree in your hand. <laughs> okay. And then there is... Where was it? Over there. Okay. Better take the ship to get to that one. All right, here we go. There it is, an outpost. Come here, Radnox and one Gecknip. Right. Radnox inside, Gecknip outside. That's right, I remember that. Oh, I can get another Gecknip now. Nice. That's pretty cool that it's actually the same for everyone on these, uh, in these crates. I like that. I wouldn't expect that. So that was a cool cool thing and then they sell Radnox inside on that thing I think export a Greglu of course out with planetary conditions oh right I'm gonna do this one new multi-tool no, <laughs> that's way worse. But, you know, thanks anyway. So, yeah, this should have Radnox for sale. Yep. Oh, okay, 40 Radnox. It's a good thing to have, I think. Let's get it. 
and sink. I always want more sink. Anything else? Nah. Nah, I'm good. Alright. Let's go, bee sting. Let's get out of here. All right. So, if you watched my video uh, from yesterday, which I think pretty much most of you did, because that had way more views than I usually get on my normal No Man's Sky videos. Um, what do you think is going to be the update? Uh, it's very <laughs> interesting to think about. But, you know, um, I hope for the best, but expect just a normal uh, update like the two that we've had. Because I don't want to go around expecting things, because then I will... Uh, you know, it's very likely that I will be let down if I'm going around expecting things. Like, uh, I saw on this Facebook page I'm on, I don't remember which one, uh, but there there were people who were like, yeah, I'm uh, expecting uh, that it's going to be multiplayer on a different game mode, or it's going to be a relaunch, and, you know, it's like, yeah, no, <laughs> I highly doubt that. Um, I'm hoping, of course, and the kind of multiplayer I want is not the kind where it's PvP, like, um, Elite Dangerous or anything like that. That's not what I want. I want more of a Minecraft type, uh, multiplayer where you can meet with your friends and explore things together and yeah it would just be cool i wouldn't even care if maybe we could just have like four people in a lobby together that would be enough because then you could have fun with four friends showing them your planet in real time you know um so yeah i do want a multiplayer but like that a almost like a co-op actually um, I don't really care much for PvP, you know, if that makes it in the game, then yeah, sure, uh, I'm fine with it, um, but that's not what I'm hoping for when I say that I hope we get multiplayer, I just want to be around other people, uh, that's actually people <laughs> and not NPCs, uh, because it, it does get quite lonely uh, this game uh, it does and you know I know that's probably what they kind of thought of when they made the game that it was supposed to be uh, you know solitude of space kind of thing but you know it would be cool to have multiplayer to actually see people um, and I kind of see this whole thing with bases that we could build that other people can see and they can leave messages behind is a sort of multiplayer which I really really enjoy I really like it um, but what I would like even more is to actually see people um, that would be yeah <laughs> awesome so you know that's my hopes for the game um, I'm not expecting too much I'm expecting a pretty fun update like these last two were uh, with some new stuff some graphical upgrades uh, stuff like that maybe more diversity in terrain and animals uh, more base building things probably and you know, if that's what we get, then that's fine. I'm fine with it. I hope we get more, but...
but I I don't expect it. So yeah, that's uh, my opinion on the whole thing. And uh, yeah, you know, let me know in the comments below what you think. Um, marek has been doing a very good job of commenting on my videos, and you know, three times hurrah for you, Marek. Um, I would like more people to comment, uh, you know, if they feel like it, to be like, what do you think will be in the update? What are you hoping will be in the update? You know, let us know in the comments and then we can, you know, discuss and, you know, talk about our hopes and dreams and all that. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, pirates. Bring it. Bring it. Oh, shit. They already arrived. That was a mistake. How stupid do you feel now, bird? All right. Get that little... Little bumper on the shield. Oh, graded. There we go. Back to our mission. We want to find more communication balls. If there are any. Alright, let's have a look at what this one says. I haven't seen this one yet. Ooh. Trading post this planet huh wow huh seaside trading post I like it just saying there bird beach ball international hey, hey. <laughs> nice one because the planet, it's called Beach Ball. So this is like an airport. That was very clever. Who was it from? From Merrick 22. Nice. So that confirms a um, thing I've been wondering about is uh, because it seems like when you leave a communication ball on a planet uh, you can only have one there if you make any more of them it will disappear but apparently like we saw just now you can have uh, more than one in each system as long as it isn't on the same planet so that's very nice that's a good thing. All right, we're back home. Home sweet home. Alright. I think that is it for today. Just wanted to go around, see what visitors had written on their um, communication balls. And now we have even one off planet so that's very nice and we got confirmed that you can leave uh, more than one communication box in a system 
just as long as it's not on the same planet. So that is very good. Well, we've had a little, you know, a short little adventure today, and it's been nice. So, I want to thank you all for coming back to watch my videos. I really do appreciate everyone coming uh, to watch. Um, we are a pretty small community <laughs> of not much, uh, not many words except for Marek, uh, and that's fine. I know uh, it's you know you don't always feel like commenting uh, on somebody's video, uh, and you know that's fine. I just you know I would like it if you could, <laughs> like I said earlier. Um, let's talk about what we're hoping uh, and expecting this new update to be what are your hopes and dreams for this game and yeah I think I will just end the video here so as always keep looking up stargazers and happy hunting. Thanks for watching.